In this video, I'm going to teach you how to burn an image using Bizarro. To access Bizarro, you go to your Applications menu, down to Sound and Video, scroll up to the top of your list, and choose Bizarro. Now, immediately, your Bizarro application program will load. There's two ways you can do this, and as you can see, I've already got my ISO file as one of my recent projects. I could click on that and burn it again, but you can see the location where I have it. But I'm going to assume that you've not got anything in your recents, and you're just using this for the first time. If you want to burn yourself an image file, and before I go and burn an image file, let me show you where you can access image files. On my website, I actually go through and explain on my website, and I have the link below, how to go through each of these steps to burn an ISO in case you watch the video close out your browser and start to do it yourself and can't remember the steps you can bring up the website and you can go through step by step instead of listening to the video and have to pause it let me look at the second tab I have it here at the actual ubuntumate.org website they have it where you can download the long-term support and that's what I have on my desktop system and at my parents house I have it on their desktop system there's Ubuntu Mate 16.10 and then there's Ubuntu Mate 17.04. Now remember, that's the long term, and these right here are not long term. These are very short terms, which means you get you have to update them more often. So if you're a new person coming over to Linux, or if you're someone that don't like updating the operating system as often, this has a five-year support. I have the 17.04 on my desktop. It's over a gigabyte, so I've already went ahead and downloaded to my computer. So if you were to just to click on that, you would be given options. Do you have a 64-bit machine, 32-bit machine? This is things you have to look up about your system. I do have a 64-bit system. You just simply go down and look at, you can download it by torrents. You can uh, direct download, and that's what I did. I directly downloaded As you can see, it's 1.7 gigabytes, which took several minutes. So I went ahead and downloaded it into a folder in my downloads folder. So if I were to go into, actually I can, I've got my file manager up on my desktop, and if you don't, you can, you can uh, go through your applications menu to go to your file manager. I have my downloads folder, and as you can see, I created me a folder called Ubuntu Mate 17.04 for 64-bit 64, 64 systems. If I click onto that uh, folder, as you can see, i got my Ubuntu Mate ISO file. This is my image file. Now to burn this image file, I click on burn image. I click here to select disk image. I currently have that folder open in my um, file manager, so it appears here. For some reason you didn't open your file manager first, you could just simply go to downloads or wherever you placed it. And in my case, I've got the Ubuntu Mate 17.4, I double click it, and there's my ISO image file. As you can see in the lower right hand corner, image file. It's auto detects them, and that's another reason why I found it when I opened it. I click the open button. Now, in this little dialog box, it's a small dialog box, it says select a disk image to write to. That is my Ubuntu Mate that I just showed you from my download in my downloads folder. Now here it says select a disk to write to. I've already placed, as you can see here, I've already got a blank disk in my DVD burner. And the reason I do that is because I'm on a laptop and my microphone is next to my DVD and CD tray. So I went ahead and inserted it inside of it so I don't have to move the microphone out of the way. If I click on properties, you can see that you can change the speed from maximum speed, 8 speed, 6 speed, 4 speed, or times 2 speed. I'm going to choose the maximum speed. If you are burning audio or video, I recommend going to the lowest speed possible to make sure that you have the best quality. Since I'm burning data, I'm going to use the burn proof to decrease the risk of failures. So at maximum speed, usually works fine. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And as it's temporary burning, it will use a temporary folder uh, to put the files in as it's burning and then it will clear that folder when it's finished. I hit close. If I would like to burn several copies, I can select that feature to burn several copies. Like if I had several friends come over and they wanted me to burn them a copy of Ubuntu Mate to take home with them, I could choose several copies and then I could select burn. In this case, I'm only wanting to burn one copy. Now I'm not going to pause the video. 
since if you're a new user you'd like to see how long it takes so if you want to speed up the video you can but I'm gonna go ahead and select the burn process alright once I select the burn process you can notice up in my system tray it put a little icon of a disk and it shows a circular motion changing colors notice it says creating an image checksum it's not actually burning the DVD-Digest yet. It's going through its process and setting up all the files it needs to in order to burn the DVD properly to your disk. Now it's actually starting to record, to record the disk. Now, I do have my microphone next to my DVD burner, so if it's picking up a hum, I do apologize. I didn't think of that until it just started burning just now. And I'm not going to stop it or cancel it or, or turn the DVD into a coaster it will be unusable. Now in this case I could use a DVD RW meaning a rewrite uh, for data but when you're burning an audio or a video you you do not want to use a, a RW which is a rewrite you only want to use just a DVD standard DVD so that that way when you burn it to it it's on there you're not going to erase it. Now if you look down here in the bottom uh, you can see the uh, estimated drive speed it's kinda calculated it's 3.5 multiplier so it's approximately it shows by default around 4 times 4 it will fluctuate you know things running in the background sometimes will take the attention and so the speed will fluctuate as you can see it's burning track 1 and the file that you see here it says 1614 megabytes uh, down on the web page it said approximately 1.7 gigabytes you know there's some discrepancy there we could go into the details but that will be something you can learn later right now we just burning that huge file that I had downloaded earlier we're 13 percent done so it shouldn't take too much longer this is the only thing I'm covering on this particular video so I'm not going to go into the other features I'll set aside a separate video for the other uh, features that it will do such as burning audio making an audio CD for making a video DVD or CD for making a data DVD or CD and in this case we're showing you the image that it can do one feature that most people don't realize about Bizarro is that you can actually uh, print out your jewel cases so if you've got yourself some plastic covers it has that feature in there as well I'm not going to show that in this particular video Okay, we're currently at 29% completed. I don't want to do anything on my computer. I don't want to slow it down. As you can see, the speed of it now has reached about 4.3. I am on an older laptop. You know, this laptop originally had Windows 10 on it. I got frustrated with Windows 10, and you can read all about that on my About section of my webpage. And I decided to format it and put uh, Ubuntu Mate on it and I've really enjoyed it but it is an older system it didn't originally have Windows 10 I upgraded to it when the Windows 10 upgrade was available and maybe that was where my frustrations came about is maybe Windows 10 was just too big for this uh, smaller laptop to handle it in any case um, I'm satisfied with my Ubuntu Mate Okay, we're a halfway completed. We're at 54% completed. Again, if you hear a loud whining noise, it's because the microphone is next to the DVD burner. And occasionally, if you hear a little whining noise in the background, I have a light next to my laptop and the transformer has a hum that I normally don't hear but when I record these videos I can hear a hum slightly in the background and occasionally if you hear me taking deep breaths it's because I have asthma and I'm, I'm dealing with that so I apologize if I, you hear me occasionally take a deep breath okay we're almost, almost three quarters of the way completed As you can see, the, the speed has now fluctuated. Uh, it was around 3.2 starting out. It's picked up speed around 5.3 on the multiplier. 
so it's kind of speeding up. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner in the system tray, there's a little graphical icon uh, that kind of represents the percentage that's completed. Notice that we're 87% complete and it's about 88% green now, indicating that the color uh, on the icon is a, a good representation on how much is completed and you can see the small gap is how much is yet to burn so it's almost finished we're at 96 percent I want everyone to see I don't want to pause it or afraid something will go wrong I want to see it from beginning to end it's 99 percent All right now it's finalizing it's going to go through and it should do an error checking so it may have to go through and check it again it looks like it might burn again but it's just making sure that the files were on there as they should be and then dependent upon uh, my system here it may or may not eject uh, from the drive but it normally does again it's finalizing if you're in the process of burning yours when it says completed or 100% done at the top don't think just because it's 100% completed you can reach down and eject your DVD or CD wait till it lets you know you know sometimes that can be a little misleading thinking 100 percent done and yet it's not done it's done with burning it it's just finalizing it uh, you don't want to leave a disk like this open when you're burning an image you know when you're burning data you can leave a disk open where you can add to it not erase it but add to it and eventually when you're completely added all the files you want to add to it then you can finalize it normally when you leave them open it won't read on another system uh, that but when you're burning an image it needs to finalize because normally you're going to remove it from your computer and more likely you're going to format your computer or maybe format someone else's computer or use that CD or DVD in another computer so you do want to make sure it's finalized and when you're using the disk the burning disk or burning image feature it does all of that for you now it's going to go through and create an image checksum it's going to verify that the DVD was burnt properly and when it completes it will let you know if it was successful or if there was an error and that's why you don't want to uh, I know computers are multitasking but when you're burning a disk I recommend you don't uh, use applications in the background you know don't go try to download videos off the internet and use up resources and use up memory because you could do something that will glitch uh, the burning process and cause an error so this is one of the times that you want to just sit back, relax, go get yourself something to drink, go get yourself a snack or something, come back and your disk will be completed. Now we don't have the little percentage counting here, but we do have the icon at the top uh, that shows us that looks like we're almost, almost 25% completed. And again, I apologize for taking uh, so much time, but I do want you to see from the beginning to end process. Again, if you're watching this and would like to speak to it, you can increase the speed of your video. You know, that's one of the features I like about YouTube. We can go to speed, increase it by 1.52. So you can increase it and watch the video in fast motion where you don't even have to hear me talk. Or you can actually hear me talk faster. So if this is taking long, you can increase the speed. We look like we're about 40% completed. We're not quite in the middle. When we're in the middle, that little green line will be at the bottom. This green line should be in the center. Now again, it's not showing you how fast it's burning because it's not burning now. The burning process is completed. That's where it says burning disk 100% done. It's completed the burning process. It's actually going through and verifying that all the files that's in the image file is on the disk. So that way when you're in the middle of installing Ubuntu on another computer, it won't stop three quarters of the way through or 90% through and say, error, you know, you got a corrupt disk. You don't want that to happen. So you never want to cancel this process. You want to make sure that your disk is 100% accurate from the images or from the files that's in the ISO. OK, 
Okay, we're close to about 65% estimating. Okay, we're close to 75%, close to it. Looks like we're about 73%. Now we're close to 75. I'm looking at the graphical image in the system tray. And if it does eject the disk and you hear a loud thump, that will be the tray hitting the tripod legs of the microphone. Because when I put the disk in, I slid the mic closer to my laptop. And so if you hear a thump, it will be the tray popping out and hitting the tripod of the microphone because it's getting close to completing the process. Okay, it's almost finished. It looks like about 98 or 99 percent. It's going to eject the medium, and it did. It popped out. It says, image successfully burned to the DVD. Now, I could choose, even though I didn't choose the feature while ago of making, uh, burning additional copies, if you changed your mind or someone walked in and decided they want a copy as well, you could hit make more copies, and it won't take as long, because remember, it's in that temporary folder. Uh, if I go to make more copies, I can just start putting in uh, DVDs one at a time and keep hitting make more copies. In this case, I'm going to close it out. It's going to clean out my image file. And that just shows me that's a recent project that I've done is it uh, is to burn this ISO uh, image. So this is one of the five features that Bizarro has the capabilities of doing is burning an image. Now the image that I just burnt to this DVD, if I were to take this image now and go to another computer, and I'll close it out, and I'm going to close my DVD ROM. If I were to take this DVD to another computer, I could put this in there and I could reboot the computer and go into my BIOS and say to boot from the CD-ROM or DVD, it will actually boot into the, the DVD and it will pop up on, notice it's got the Ubuntu Mate here instead of the blank disk. That lets you know that Ubuntu Mate is on this disk. If I were to double click this now, you can actually see it's taking me to my DVD and all of the files are on the DVD. So this was a successful burn. So for those of you that didn't know how to burn an ISO image, you can use Bizarro and this is by default, it's an application in Ubuntu Mate. Hopefully this has been a guide to help you understand how to burn an image by using Bizarro. Like I said, if for some reason you can't remember something in the video, instead of re-watching the video, you can go to my website and I will have the link below where you can look at the steps 1, 2, and 3 and you can print them out so you won't have to access the internet. Because remember, while you're in the burning process, I recommend not using something in the background. Hopefully this has been helpful and I hope you are enjoying your experience of learning Ubuntu Mate.